So how we do what we do is very non-typical. We're not that typical construction company, and we get that all the time. Every time a cement truck driver pulls up and is delivering cement, walks away shaking his head saying, I can't believe I just saw what I just saw. And uh, the homeowners can't believe it sometimes. So for example, at this, at this home here, the, we signed the deal, they really love the philosophy, we got things going, we're supposed to start. We're starting on a Monday, this is a Sunday, and the homeowner, he tells the story how he got nervous, thinking, oh, what did I get into? They just moved in this house, the backyard's still all perfect, and all of a sudden he's worried, what did I get into? So to find some comfort, to get a better idea of what to expect, he went to our website and started watching videos to help calm his nerves, to see, okay, what's it gonna look like? And, and he probably watched a bunch of videos of different projects that we've done and kind of what to expect. Calm himself down, expected, well, tomorrow morning, a typical construction crew is gonna show up and excavate and, and all these trucks are gonna roll into the yard and all these guys are gonna jump out and it's gonna go to town. And the next morning, it was pouring rain, but we still showed up and it was me and my two daughters. Now, they're both college age girls, but like he explained it later, they looked like they were 13 and 14 years old. As a matter of fact, Katie had just graduated college at that point and Jesse is now a junior in college, but he said they looked like they were 13 and 14. And he, would, he said that he was scared to death. At first he thought, oh, what did I get myself into? I thought it was okay. And he said, in the pouring rain, he watched me digging because I was on the excavator and he watched my daughters work and cut and shape the soil. And he said after about an hour, he realized this is going to be amazing. This is gonna be something like I could never have imagined. And he told us that story not long into the project. And from there on, it's been story after story after story about I, we couldn't believe we'd look out the window and you guys would be hip deep digging trenches and there would be four or five of you half girls half boys digging and singing in the pouring rain and she said the the, the 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 woman homeowner here had said i was trying to explain it to my friend and that that, that i had looked out the window and here they were dirty muddy head to toe pouring rain digging trenches and they were singing and laughing and have a good time having a good time she goes I just, I just couldn't even explain it to people. I, I tried to explain to my friend and it just didn't make any sense because as they mentioned, they've built three or four homes, they've had tons of renovation work and this was nothing of the experience. They, they could, could never have imagined watching four girls wheeling concrete from the road into the backyard and dumping wheelbarrows of cement because the, the first day that we poured footings, there were four girls on wheelbarrows and, and three boys, men. And they couldn't believe it. Again, the girls looked like the 13 and 14. And it turns out one was 17, one was 18, one was 21, and one was 48. All wheeling concrete. Along with a 23-year-old boy, 27-year-old <coughs> man, and myself. And we were all wheeling cement that day. And the, the cement driver was blown away. And we hear that every single time a concrete truck pulls up because it's someone different saying, uh, what am I going to do? There's girls here. And we always say, fill them up, let's go. And never once have the girls gone, I can't do it. Never once. They've pushed harder than the boys sometimes just because they can. And as that results, the homeowner realizes very quickly that they're in a unique set of hands. And the unique set of hands takes them by their hand through an entire project that way because they see us doing all of the work. And as a result, they can feel the love that goes in because it takes a special group of people to be able to do what we do in the way that we do it. There's a lot of companies that will just hire workers to push concrete, but we bring the people in that love doing that part. And so they do it day in and day out and love it. And it doesn't matter what it is, they find a love for it and they do it because they know that sitting here from the position of, of owner pool guy, I love what I do, and I do it right beside them every day. And when I'm done doing my job, screening the concrete, I jump on the wheelbarrow and I, and I push concrete myself because that's what we do, and that's what we'll always do.